Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be continuing with the AP Calculus PC syllabus. I'm going to be discussing the alternating series error. So let's start with some theory. So the formula you need to know is that the lower bound is the partial sum minus the remainder. And the upper bound is the partial sum plus the remainder. So now that we know these formulas, one more thing we need to know is that the sum of n terms should be less than a n plus 1. And that a n plus 1 is the absolute value of the first omitted term. This will all start to make sense once I explain an example. So let's look at an example. So we have to find the third partial sum of the series n equals 1 infinity minus 1 to the power of n into 5 over n to the power of 1 half plus 3. Then use the alternating series error bound Find an upper and lower bound for the sum of the series. So now this is the question. So let's look at how we're supposed to solve it. The first thing we need to know, do is find the third partial sum. So the third partial sum basically means that you add the first three terms. So you plug in n equals one into this, find that value, add it to n equals two when you plug in n equals two that value, and then add it so when you plug in n equals three. So when you plug in n equals one, you get negative 1.25 plus 1.133. This is when you plug in n equals two, and then when you plug in n equals 3, you get negative 1.057. So when you take this procedure forward, you get the answer as negative 1.174. This is the third partial sum. So it's basically just the value of the first three terms added together. Now, what we need to do is, remember I wrote something in the previous slide, like Sn should be less than An plus 1, less than equal to. So we need to find what An plus 1 is. N is 3 in this case, as they asked us to find the third partial sum. So A3 plus 1 would be A4. So we need to find what the absolute value of the fourth term is. That is 5 over root of 4 plus 3 which is just one. Because this absolute value, I didn't consider the negative one to the power of n. So this is our remainder. Now we just use our two formulas as we know the value of partial sum and re remainder. So we know that the lower bound, LB, is the partial sum minus remainder. So negative 1.174 minus one, and the upper bound is the partial sum plus the remainder plus one. So this is negative 2.174. And this is negative 0 0.174. So our value is negative 2.174 less than equal to n equals one infinity minus one to the power of n into five over 
n to the power of 1 half plus 3, which is less than or equal to negative 0 0.174. So this is our upper and lower bound for the sum of the series. So this is how you find the error bound. Okay, that's it for today's video, guys. In today's video, I discussed the alternating series error bound and how you can find the upper bound and the lower bound. Thank you, and I hope you all have a great day, and please like and subscribe.